assalamu alaikum the biogenesis of mitochondria is very very important and it will prevent the cancer and a lot more metabolic disorder so here is the person which that contain cell and the cell contain mitochondria and the mitochondria contain uh, itself dna in the form of circular dna so in this way here is the inner and outer mitochondria matrix as well as the inner and outer mitochondrial membrane so this is the powerhouse of the cell as a organelle which that is the double membrane organelle provide the atp to the cell for normal function like the enzyme production the function of the enzyme and the repair of the dna and a lot more things basically it is uh, without the mitochondria the life is impossible here is the nucleus which that contain chromosome and the chromosome contain the histone protein the 60% and the 40% dna so the basically stop eating is known as fasting so the fasting basically trigger the biogenesis of the mitochondria how it is possible let's understand with the detail so first of all we should need to understand the increase the number of mitochondria so how it is possible the major key to understand for boost the mitochondrial number as well as the health of the mitochondria for the oxidative phosphorylation the exercise cold bath cold weather and intense or cardio workout vitamin c and e and supplementation for increase the coenzyme q10 for the function of the oxidative stress oxidative phosphorylation and decrease the oxidative stress in this way this is the hormesis which that is important for the production of atp efficiently in the mitochondria and the function properly caloric restriction heat and cold stress as well as exercise is known as the hormesis and the hormesis is very very important for the rejuvenation of the cell with contain mitochondria here is the cell of the uh, 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 sorry nucleus of the cell so this nucleus of the cell basically which that gain this stress to activate the sirt1 gene and this sirt1 gene is activated due to the fasting starvation whenever the nad plus it rise while the nadh decrease due to the starvation on the other hand the starvation or the fasting will also activate the ampk pathway the ampk will um, you know, basically um, uh, due to the less atp to activate the cyclic amp within the cell and the protein kinase c uh, in the cytoplasm will lead to activate the curb uh, sorry crab this crab is the a protein which that inactivate to phosphorylate and this phosphorylation also the ampk pathway will activate will lead to transcribe as a response this transcription to response to biogenesis of the mitochondria that all requirement uh, and the substance which that activate to uh, repair the mitochondria how it is possible let's understand further exercise high calcium diet vitamin d for calcium and the these all things will be lead to uh, activate the uh, rise of the calcium basically will lead to um, uh, calmodulin kinase enzyme activation that protein will lead to activate the p38 map kinase and the ampk collectively basically will trigger the pgc1 alpha we'll discuss later on so here is the response will lead to biogenesis and the replication of the mitochondria how it is possible let's understand the pgc1 alpha is inactive uh, whenever the phosphate will not bind while the ampk and the p38 map kinase will activate for the phosphorylation of the pgc1 alpha will lead to activate while the sirt1 gene will lead to deacetylation lead to activate with the phosphorylation deacetylation and the phosphorylation will lead to pgc1 alpha activation this activation will lead to get the certain type of response the certain type of response we will discuss here this is uh, oxidative phosphorylation subunit increase in this way the electron transport chain work efficiently the complex will be formed and in this way the electron transport chain in the mitochondria will activate so remember about that things in this way the electron flow and the reactive oxygen species prevention will occur in this way the oxidative phosphorylation decrease while the leakage of the electron will also decrease tfam is the transcriptional factor a mitochondria the mitochondrial dna repl replication transcription will increase due to the tfam and the tfam will lead to biogenesis of the mitochondria and the replication of the mitochondria will occur the reactive oxygen species will lead to rise and in this the detoxifying uh, defense system will increase 
and whenever the rise of the reactive oxygen species de detoxifying defense system will lead to decrease the reactive oxygen species and in this way the reactive oxygen species basically will lead to uh, uh, decrease the stress and damage of the mitochondria while the response to repair is important due to the uh, basically uh, fasting so remember about that things in this way the mitochondria will be rejuvenated and the reverse aging